There it is. Got some AEW. I like breaking this alternative stuff. It's fun. There it is. Let me tag everybody to it. Mike Wayne's in it. Matt Ryan's. Brett. Marcel. Oop. And we've got Sean's in it. He's been asking me for this for a while. Dan the Clerk's in it. Mike Marcel. I've got Sean. Jeff. Mr. C jumped in it and got two spots in the filler. What are the odds? It happens, though. <laughs> cool all right teams in this well they're not really teams they're groupings um I, i'm not going to read all the rest of their names i'll just mention it by the number we got number one grouping going to mike kefauver number two wayne hoover three matt runyon's Four, Mike Kefauver. Five, Brett Ross. Six, Brett Ross. Seven, Marcel West. Eight, Sean Sweeney. Nine, Dan DeClerc. Ten, Sean Sweeney. Eleven, Mike Kefauver. Twelve, Marcel West. Thirteen, Sean Sweeney. Fourteen, Jeff Casillas. Sean Sweeney's number 15. Jeff Casillas is number 16. 17, Sean Sweeney, and 18, Brett Ross. And this is our seventh break of the new year. I got a late start, but I'm keeping track this year. I want to see how many we can do in a year. All right, and as we pull big ones, if I can see the names quick enough, I will rattle it off. And I have more of this, and I can get more. He has, I can literally buy cases of this if I want. It's just a lot. It's like 16 boxes, I think. It, 200 some bucks a box it's not a cheap case for wrestling anyway even though it's pretty cool but if you know anybody who likes wrestling breaks i will keep doing them if you guys fill them that's fine by me i'm looking to do this maybe a different way too maybe a wrestler break i think there's 68 wrestlers i could do a 68 spot something like four bucks a spot kind of thing and that might be a cheaper way to get it full that'd be kind of neat all right, let me see here. We have top loaders are out, sleeves are out, gloves are on. Let's see what we got here in AEW Hobby. There are eight cards per pack, 16 packs per box. I like AEW. Honestly, I, I watch this over WWE. All depends on your preference, but... I like the storylines in this. It's fun. Okay. Empty box. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on one side. Two, four, six, eight on the other. So there they are. Upper deck. I think this is the first cards ever out on AEW. And here we go. All cards ship too, so you get them all. Starting off with Dustin Rhodes. That's number one spot, I know that. And right off the bat, what do we have here? We've got the Blade. It's a game worn or match worn material. Numbered 45 out of 199. Right off the bat. First pack. <laughs> there we go. 
I gotta get my 20s. I don't have them. I have the 59s. I'll get it top loaded. No worries. I'll leave that sleeve for now. Oh, we got a numbered Trent. 38 out of 100. From Best Friends, right? And that one's going to be... Actually, the Butcher and the Blade and Bunny was number four. Mike Kefauver got that. And Best Friends was 14. That was Jeff Casillas gets this one numbered. And then main features Cody Rhodes and Ricky Starks. Paul Turner referee is in there somewhere. Chuck Taylor. It's a wrestling mag, AEW wrestling magazine with Sting on it. And look at this parallel. That's kind of cool looking. Of Arn Anderson. There you go. You can see it kind of. It's got like circular star type parallel. Yeah, it's not numbered. It's just a cool parallel. So there it is. Arn Anderson. I think that's the number one as well. Yep. There's Pac. He's put together. I'll tell you what. That guy can move for his size. I think he's like a 205 pounder. Rio. AW Wrestling Magazine. Hikaru Shida. And Mark Quinn. And I'll recap it at the end. So you can see what kind of stuff we pulled. There's Lance Archer, AEW Magazine. Darby Allen. Lucha Brothers. That's <laughs> pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Sean Spears. I'm seeing them gold. I think that might be a, a parallel as well. Joey Janela. Upper Deck Canvas card. Oh, that's cool. It's just like hockey. So there's a canvas card of Joey Janela. That's awesome. Okay, so it's a, it's a parallel where it has text under the name of their finisher only. One per box. Okay. You didn't see me pull it yet, did you? I don't think I did. Main features... Sheeta, Jungle Boy, Tag Team Champ now, and Jim Ross. Stu Grayson, Cash Wheeler. Tag Teams, yeah, see how they're gold, best friends. It's just a parallel, I think, gold parallel. Main features Jungle Boy, Big Swole. That one looks like it might be a refractor. So I'm looking at these two together. Yeah, it's definitely something different. This one is. You can see by the main features up at the top, it's totally different than the other one. Blue bar under the name, okay. Look at that. That's a crazy one. Abaddon. Probably takes her longer to get ready than the actual match. Darby Allen, AEW Wrestling. And Pack. Alright, so it's under the blue. Let me quick go back through here. It's under the name and under the blue. I'm looking. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I knew it was something because it was different. And they seem to be all in the same spot, right in the middle of every pack, so it shouldn't be that hard to find them if something's different. I don't see anything under their name in blue on any of the ones I just pulled. <clears throat> Sid 
Sammy Guevara, Spanish God, AEW Wrestling Magazine. Brody Lee, Tribute. That's a shame. He was turning the Dark Order around there for a bit. Evil Uno in the Dark Order. Chris Statlander, she's pretty cool. And we got a Roads to Success. July 1st, 2020, shakes off Jake Hagar's title challenge. That's cool. Inner Circle, Santana and Ortiz. Nick Jackson and Jake Hager. Tully Blanchard. Ray Phoenix. And there he is again. AW Wrestling Magazine. What's this? I'm feeling something there. Cody Rhodes. Gold parallel. And look at this cool looking. Looks like a firework parallel, maybe? I don't know, because you can it kind of looks like it's going. See him? That's pretty awesome with Dustin Rhodes. So Lauren Anderson and Dustin Rhodes both have parallels like that, and they're both for number one. And we've got Ortiz main features. And Colt Cabana, AEW Wrestling, and then John Silver of the Dark Order. Is that what it's called? Pyro? Good. I knew I saw that. Dax Harwood. Young Guns. Tag Teams. Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson. There's a gold parallel. Chris Jericho, AEW Wrestling Magazine. Over to Canvas of Taz. There you go. That's going to be number two. Wayne Hoover gets that one. He gets a Canvas card. And then we have Lance Archer. That's not a silver. The Blade. Jake the Snake. And Kenny Omega. Oh, cool. All right, here comes the first half of the end. Powerhouse Hobbs. Hiroku Shida. Orange Cassidy. AW Wrestling. Joey Janela Gold. Sammy Guevara Main Features. And here comes the silver of Anna J. A silver main feature. Next one looks kind of different. I don't know if it's a specialty card or what. And a Jay Silver. And then we have a Cody Rhodes AW Wrestling Magazine. And Sammy Guevara. Yeah, I'm looking at the blue underneath their name. I haven't seen anything yet. It's cool that they have parallels. It's not cool that I have to find them all. <laughs> cool cabana. But it's I like it though. Taz. Luchasaurus. They're the tag team champs now. Young Bucks Gold. And then look at this cool looking parallel of Brian Cage. Pyro parallel of AEW Wrestling Magazine. have a main features of Nyla Rose and Hangman Adam Page the world champ at the moment and there's Brian Cage again yeah I think there's, they said there's like four autographs in a case doesn't mean there isn't one in this box but yeah there's not as many Brian Cage there Powerhouse Hobbs Gold Billy Gunn. There, is that it? I think that is. 
Fee Master, is that what it is? Right down there at the bottom? That's his specialty move, right? That's the one you get one per box. You called it. Billy Gunn gets it. A little bit more of a rare card there. One per box parallel. And we got Darby Allen. Penelope Ford. Lance Archer and Arn Anderson. That's the finisher parallel. Okay. That's cool. Christopher Daniels. And this is Private Party. Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy. Typical high flyers. There's Kip Sabian. And Karu Shida. And there's a canvas card of Scorpio Sky. There you go. Nice. I like these canvas cards. I'm from hockey. I remember that. I got to start getting some hockey in here, too. I know Upper Deck's coming. So I'll probably go. I'll at least get a case of that. So if you like hockey, be ready for it because it's coming. There's another Roads to Success. And then we got Dustin Rhodes and Sting, AEW Wrestling Magazine. Was that one of one of his pulled yet, the autograph? That would be kind of cool to get. MJF, AEW. He's one of the best heels, I think, ever. He's got, he can talk, I'll tell you what. El, El Zero M, Penta El Zero yeah, he's pretty. He's a good wrestler. Cash Wheeler, and here's Penelope Ford. That is a pyro. I'll have to look, and I'll tell you. Penelope Ford. So thirty-one to forty or SP. That's twenty-one. We got. 13 for Taz. And Joey Janela is 26. So no SPs yet. Luchasaurus main features. There's Sean Spears. Tag team's best friends. Chuck Taylor and Trent. And Chris Statlander. Four left. It's only one box. I'm going to kind of read them all. There's Big Swole. There's Sting. And there is Orange Cassidy. He's fun to watch. <laughs> Brian Cage. And then we got a Paul Turner. What's that one? Is that the red one? That's pretty cool looking. You see up by the right? See how it moves? That's a pretty cool looking parallel. Yeah, this is first edition AEW. Yep. Jake Hager, Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega. That's pretty nice, right? Matt Jackson from the Young Guns. There's Tay Conti. She came across from WWE. There's the Dark Order. Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. Penelope Ford. Gold. Main features Kenny Omega. And then we got a silver Nick Jackson main features. There you go. Young Guns. Silver. They say the Young Guns are one of the best tag teams in the world ever. I don't know about that. There's been some pretty good ones in the past, but there's Ortiz and there's Matt Jackson. I think maybe right now they might be, but not ever. My personal favorites are the Steiner Brothers and the Road Warriors. There's the Butcher. And then remember the Rock and Roll Express versus the Midnight Express matches were always pretty good. 
Matt Hardy. There's Lance Archer. Gold. There's Lance Archer. Parallel. That's one of those pyros. And we've got Tay Conti main features and Justin Roberts. Is he an announcer? Yeah, he's an announcer. Anna J. And there's John Moxley. Last pack. What do we get? Still have more of this. Do another one. Oh, what's that? There's Matt Hardy. Alex Reynolds, Trent, Orn Anderson, Gold, and then we've got a canvas of pack. Now, what's that one? I'll set that there for now because that's different. That's a different parallel that I've seen. Canvas card of pack. That's a nice one. And then we have, oh, is it 31? It is 10, so it's not an SP. Now you've got a top rope, Ray Phoenix. That's the only one we've seen in the whole box, so I'll top load that too. Why not? Top rope number seven, insert. And then we have Frankie Kazarian. And the Jurassic Express. They're the tag team champs right now. Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Awesome. That's pretty cool. There's our first box of AEW. Let's break it down. What do we get here? We have a top rope Ray Phoenix. We've got an upper deck canvas of Pack. We have Lance Archer. That's one of those pyro parallels. We have a silver Nick Jackson main features. What is this, a dynamite one? Paul Turner. That's a cool looking parallel. I like that one. A canvas of Scorpio Sky. We got Penelope Ford Pyro. We've got, what is a finisher parallel? Billy Gunn, the Fame Asser is what it's called. There's another... There's a Brian Cage, AW Wrestling Magazine, uh, Pyro Parallel. There's a Silver Anna J, Taz, Canvas. That is Dustin Rhodes, Pyro. We got a Silver Big Swole Main Features. We got a Canvas of Joey Janela. We got an Arn Anderson. Uh, yeah, that's just the color of the card. That's a pyro. And then we have Trent exclusives. 38 out of 100. Oh, yeah, okay, exclusives. I didn't catch it right away. It's the same as what uh, Upper Deck Hockey is. They have the exclusives. And then we have a the Blade, numbered 45 out of 199. I don't know if it tells me what it is. It's probably matched use memorabilia. But that, I think that's the bunny's husband, right? I think so, if I remember right. I know all this stuff. I'm so up on it. <laughs> it is cool to watch, though. I do love watching it. But all cards ship, uh, so I'll get them out as quick as possible. I do have another one sitting here. And I've got four Bowman Best boxes. If we get them filled quick, I still have tomorrow and the next day that I can run up and get some more. And uh, we'll keep moving. But, yeah, that was cool. Something different. I appreciate it. Thank you again. And I'll, I think I might do the next one a little different. Maybe we'll just do like a wrestler break. You know, I think there's 68 of them. I can probably make something up that's pretty cheap. Everybody can grab as many as they want until we're out. But awesome. Thank you again. And I will talk to you later. I'm here. If you have any questions.